Hello friends, today I will show you an imaging through a deep spar USB stabilizer and a charger WD hard disk. I will be using a third party software for imaging. This is the first time that you will see a third party software along with USB stabilizer. Normally we have used Art Studio for this and it works very well. So today I will show you something different. Stabilizer started, log file scene, I can see capacity 1.8 TB hard disk. I am waiting for the idle word here. It is not responding. It has come idle now. And I will shift this here. And I will start a software called HDD Clone. HDD Clone is a wonderful software. And you will see that when it starts, it will give me a big menu, but at the same time it will scan for all the hard disks which are there in the system. Now you can see this word rescue. Earlier versions of X2 of HDD clone had the word data rescue. Now they have added the word rescue and the rescue word has rescue copy and rescue image rescue image you can create an image you can resume it if the hard disk crashes in between and you can restore your session okay or you can restore the hard disk back whenever you want so we will use a rescue copy i will click on create now when i click on create <coughs> I will have options to see uh, the hard disk. Now my one uh, stabilizer hard disk is a USB hard disk. So I click on this one. You can see at the same time that the stabilizer is searching for the hard disk. It found everything. Now I shall select the target of the hard disk which of course is my 1 TB hard drive. Correct. So this is the target, this is the source. Now I shall show you something very interesting. I shall go here and I shall try to see whether we can see x fat in this or not no we cannot see right now maybe later on when the image starts we may be able to see now here are the options verified copy data safe rescue for faulty media shut down i stay it away click on start showing two options target overwrite it will write the target and the target is smaller than the source i have Put a 1 TB hard disk, no problem, continue. Now let's see if everything goes okay, the imaging will start. You can see that with the initial speed, you can see that it is imaging. Hmm? Here I superimpose this here. And now it started off well, but here it has got into a pause now this pause actually means that the software HD clone is trying to seek data through the stabilizer from the charger hard disk it will have its own block size it will have its own read read rise and plus the stabilizer will have its own block size and read read rise 
now you will see that suddenly there is an appearance of red sectors which it saw and now it is asking me whether should I continue because it has found some bad sectors and the image could not be so healthy. So I say continue, no problem. <clears throat> Again at this point, it has stopped. Now this is a wonderful process wherein all the bad sectors of a charger hard disk are jumped through and good data is being imaged. However, this rescue copy has an advantage of skipping bad sectors and it will analyze or go through the bad sectors again in the end of data imaging or data cloning. Now since it has stopped here, you will see again there could be a group of yellow sectors or a group of red sectors which it jumps off. Of course it is not doing on the fly because of the block size which we have adjusted in the settings of USB control panel. Lesser the block size, quicker the jumps but I don't want to lose a lot of data so I have kept the block size as large. <coughs> Let's wait. We'll see. Yes, you can see it jumped a big portion with yellow sectors and it is imaging with the speed of 41 Mbps. You can see the data is being read right here and there are options to repower, reset and skip. I will not be using these options because if I repower the drive it will disconnect from the software. If I reset the drive it will be a hard reset, it will disconnect from the software and my skip may not work for now. It only works if I can see a lot of red and yellow blocks and it has stuck there. <coughs> so now you can see that we can image data from a charger hard disk with a speed of 40 Mbps. However, this is the initial portion of the hard disk and later on when you go on continuing imaging you may find that the hard disk reading pattern has become better and it may go up to a speed of about 90 mbps to 100 mbps and that is the time when we will see that the expected time of cloning completely would be 8.38 pm hmm? and now it, the time is 22.21 so definitely the expected time will be till tomorrow morning now it is 10.21 so by morning 8 a.m. 8 p.m. sorry tomorrow evening 8 p.m. the imaging will get over. So friends you have seen this third party software very easy to operate and it is meant for imaging data from bad sectors either directly connecting the hard disk to the computer or you can get the image through a stabilizer if your hard disk is not at all getting detected. I will show you now how many sectors 
have been done and how many sectors it has to do so the total number of sectors are 19535251678 remaining time 22 hours run time 6 16 minutes read errors 8192 these read errors will be tackled at the end of the recovery when all the sectors have been copied copied there is also a option to verify the sectors verified copy data so you can verify your copied data and be sure that the imaging has got successfully done there are events also it is showing you what events had occurred and how it progressed it has got some messages also the target is smaller than the source source drive area some areas of the source drive could not be read therefore the copy may be be incomplete or faulty so guys you can see the speed is 46 mbps here and on my spark it is going on very well of course i am sure somewhere you will face weak sectors or bad sectors but we will get about 99.99% data of this hard disk very easily guys i have introduced to you this stabilizer earlier this is sold by us in mumbai this is manufactured and processed in canada we have been appointed as sole sellers for this device in india if you feel that this is a good product you can approach us on our mobile number on our landline numbers or through any other way an email or through whatsapp chat so you can approach us the details of which you can see on my profile again we are located in mumbai this product is sold in india through us there are no agents or sub agents it is a direct selling through us in india guys thank you very much for watching this video i hoped this is something very new to you in my next video i will show you how to recover data with usb stabilizer from a pen drive so you will get the chance to see that stabilizer can also recover data from a pen drive of course in the background you are seeing that there are many weak sectors which are getting optimized and getting imaged on the destination drive to verify whether the data is coming or not you can see that the data written in this language form is being seen and changing from time to time wherever there is a bad sector both the softwares halt the first soft software tries to give a command stabilizer obeys the commands sees whether the sectors are stable or not if it is not stable it will make them stable and give the data back to the software for imaging thank you friends very much for watching this video i shall come up with new videos very soon